I've been attracted to uh, the idea of uh, seeing Brave New World on stage really ever since first reading it as a teenager. Uh, I think it's a book that so captures the imagination of a young person because uh, it's about the way that we um, engage with those around us and how we conform to society. And I, I think what makes it a unique prospect for any reader and a uniquely theatrical prospect for an audience is that unlike the other dystopian uh, work that we're now also familiar with from the latter uh, part of the 20th century work by George Orwell, Asimov, Huxley, Atwood and so on and so forth. What you see in Aldous Huxley's Brave New World is a very open-armed piece of work that has a great sense of humour to it and a great sense um, of humanity to it. But you also see a piece of work that is less about uh, the way in which Huxley as a writer is trying to prophesize about the future and much more a piece of work that hypothesizes about how the future of science, medicine, technology, politics, economics might affect human relationships and human behavior as we understand them today. So really, Aldous Huxley is not trying to create a kind of um, dreamscape of an imaginary future, but rather he, he's trying to put on stage characters, individuals from our world, and to really draw an audience um, in uh, by um, humanizing the, the, the characters that, that he um, uh, introduces to us in his novel, taking us on a journey a alongside them, and ultimately asking, would we do anything differently under these circumstances? And uh, trying to reflect back at us the conditions um, of our own world by kind of taking them to the most extreme, the most grotesque. And, and that's kind of really where the satire lies in his ability to quite brilliantly um, identify things in the world around him in the 1920s and 1930s, and indeed the world around us in our own decade today, that will be constants as well as things that will inevitably change.